Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial about uh, Mathematical Olympiad test questions. I'm going to discuss to you the answers for kindergarten group or kindergarten level for TMO 2017-2018. to This is the final round test. Number one for logical thinking part, Jack has two brothers and Three sisters, how many sons and daughters in total does Jack's father have? So Jack has two brothers plus three t sisters, so that's five, including Jack six. So there are six uh, sons and daughters for his, of his father, so the answer is six. Number two, in the figure below, there are two balances, which of the circle, the triangle, and the square is the heaviest. As you can see in this figure here, uh, one triangle is heavier than two, than one a circle. And in this figure here, one triangle is heavier than one square. It means the triangle is the heaviest. Problem number three. According to the pattern shown below, what is the number in the box? What is the number in the box? So... The answer here is 0 because we can get the number here by getting the difference of 3 and 3. Look at the pattern here. 4 minus 4 is 0. So similarly, 3 minus 3 is 0. Because in here, 3, two minus, uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the difference of 3 and 2 is 1. Also here, difference is 1. So the difference of 3 and 3 is 0. So the answer in the box is 0. According to the pattern shown below, what is the number in the blank? So, 2, 4, 6, so the answer is 8. Because every two um, spaces, we add the number by 2. 2, 4, 6, and 8. Uh, this also is by 2, 6, 8, 10. So the answer here is 8. Next, number 5, according to the pattern shown below, uh, how many um, this symbol are there in the fourth group? So this is the first group, there's only one of that symbol. Second group, there are five. Third group, there are, how many is that? Five, ten, so nine. So it looks like the pattern here is, you're going to fill the diagonal boxes or diagonal uh, rectangles by this symbol. So one diagonal would have seven. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, the other diagonal is also 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. We used the middle twice, so minus 1. So, the answer is 13. Why is it 13? Because in this pattern, 5 plus 5 is 10. We use this twice, so minus 1, 9. So, this is 9. Similarly here, 3 plus 3 is 6. We use this twice, so minus 1, so 5. So this, the same here, 7 in this diagonal, plus 7 in this diagonal, that's 14, but we use the center twice, so 14 minus 1 is 13. Number 6, according to the pattern shown below, what is the number in the blank? So 9, 7, 5, the answer is 3, because this is 9 minus 2, minus 2, and minus 2. So the answer is 3. Number seven, what it, find the value of this two plus three, that's five. That is nine, 14, so 20. Number eight, 13 minus nine, that is four plus seven, 11. The answer is 11. Number nine, if X is a two digit number, what is the value of X in the equation, if the equation below is correct? So what is the number subtracted by 6? You will get 9. The answer is 15, right? So because 15 plus 9 is uh, 15 minus 6 is 9. Next, uh, find the value of 6 plus 4. So that's very simple. That's 21. Next, um, number 11. If y is a one-digit one digit number, what is the value of y in the equation below? So, 26 plus a number equals 33. 
So the number y must be 7. Next, if x is a one-digit number, what is the value of x in the, if the equation below is correct? So what is the number added to 1 to get 10? 9. So 9. Next, 13. Let's go now to part two, uh, the part 3, which is num number theory. Number 13, Tom has 7 candies and Mary has 11 candies. How many candies does Tom have to give Mary to make Mary to have 8 candies more than Tom? So right now, Mary has four more than Tom. So to make Mary's candy be four more, um, eight more than Tom's, we have to give Mary two more. So it will become 13 here, and seven minus two is five. So again, this will be plus two, 13. So this is minus two, five. What is the difference of 13 and five? Eight. Okay, the answer should be, Two. Next, fill in the fill fill the lines with plus and minus to make the equation below correct. So we are, we can use only the plus sign or the minus sign. So for this kind of problem, what we're going to do is add all these numbers. Let's say we use all plus sign. That is four plus five plus six plus seven. We would get twenty two. Then we will subtract the eight. That is fourteen. And then divide the fourteen by two. We will get 7. It means the 7 is the negative, the, the minus part. It means our equation will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 minus 7 equals 8. Let's check if it is correct. This is 9. This is uh, 15 minus 7. That's 8. Again. How did we get that? Uh, first, add all these numbers here on the left side of the equation. You would get 22. Then, subtract the number here. 22 minus 8, you would get 14. And then the last step is, divide the 14 by 2, you would get 7. That number will be the, the negative part of the equation. It means that would be the minus part. The 7 is the minus, so minus 7. The, the rest will be plus plus so 4 plus 5 plus 6 minus 7 so this is the answer for this equation similar problem number 15 fill with plus or minus plus and minus sign also so we will use the same uh, concept add all these numbers 7 6 plus if you add 6 plus 8 plus 9 you would get uh, 14 23 correct so 23 subtract 5 from 23 so 23 minus 5 that is 18 okay 18 then last step divide 18 by 2 you will get 9 it means in this equation the 9 is the negative number so 6 is positive 8 is positive so that's 6 plus 8 and the 9 is the negative so this is the correct answer. 6 plus 8 minus 9 equals 5, correct? 14 minus 9, 5. That's correct. Now let's go to the next problem. Because this is uh, kindergarten, the easiest level. Let's make it quick. Letter B, if B is a one-digit number, what is the value of B in, if the equation below is correct? 14 minus the number equals 9, because 7 plus 2 is 9. The answer must be 5. 14 minus 5 is 9. Next, according to the pattern shown below, what is the number in the space provided? So, this looks like the pattern is first number plus 1, second number plus 2, third number plus 3, and then plus 4. So, the pattern will look like this. So, the, one, th those no the numbers given the numbers given are 1, 2, 4, 7. First, we add 1, then we add 2, we add 3, and we add 4. Because 1 plus 1, 2. That's how you get the second term. And then, sorry again, these are the numbers given. 1, sorry, 1... 1, 1, 2, again, 1, 2, 4, 7. So these are the given numbers. So the pattern is, 
Add 1 for the first number, add 2 for the second, add 3 for the third, add 4 for the fourth. So, because 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 7 plus 4 is 11. So, you will see that we get the numbers 2, 4, 7. So, the last, uh, the number in the blank space should be 11. Okay? 11. Next, in this pattern, what is the next number? This one is a familiar series. This is in math, in higher math, it's called Fibonacci sequence. Not, I mean, se sequence, not series. So the Fibonacci sequence is found by starting with 1 and 1 and then adding this the two previous numbers to get the next number. So start with 1 and 1. What is 1 plus 1? 2. And then the two numbers, the two previous numbers now are 1 and 2. What is 1 plus 2? 3. Now, what is 2 plus 3? 5. And what is 3 plus 5? 8. So the answer in the blank must be 8. Okay? Next, how many squares is or are there in the figure below? So, to do this, uh, systematically, we count the squares, single squares, that is 6 of them. And then, we have the squares with four squares inside that's two of them okay so the answer is eight so there are eight squares in this figure again one two three four five six this is a square also seven this is another square eight the answer is eight number 20 at least how many cubes is or are there in the figure so this is one two 2 at the bottom, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 cubes in this figure. At least 7 cubes in this figure. Okay, number 21. How many sides is or are there in the polygon below? So we need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a decagon with 10 sides. So the answer is 10. Number 23, according to the pattern shown below, what is the figure in the space provided? Square, triangle, circle, check, circle, triangle, square, blank, circle. The answer in the blank must be a triangle because it looks like the pattern is every five, it will repeat like one, two, three, four, five, sorry, six, six shapes or six figures you will repeat the pattern so one two three four five six you see that it ends here and then start the pattern again start from square and then triangle circle so one two three four five six one two three four five six so the number the shape or the pattern the figure here must be a triangle triangle next According to the pattern shown below, what is the figure in the space provided? This is a triangle, three sides, square, four sides, pentagon, five, so three, four, five. The next one must be a six-sided regular polygon, so it should be a hexagon. So you have to draw a hexagon. How do you draw a hexagon? Um, hexagon. Okay. You have to draw this figure, that's the answer. Next, separate 12 circles into three equal parts. There are 12 circles here, divided into three. How many circles in its group? Four, because 12 divided by three is four. So there are four, four, four. So four in its group. According to the following numbers, how many even numbers is or are there? So even, so one, two. There are only two even numbers, only four and 18. 2. The answer is 2. Number 27, according to the following numbers, how many how many odd numbers is or are there? Odd numbers are 1, 3, and 15. 1, 3, 15, 21. There are 4 odd numbers. Correct? 1, 3, 15, 21. 4. How many, number 28, what is the smallest three-digit number formed by the by digits three two and four each number can only be used once so of course to get the smallest uh number our first digit must be the smallest so 
or the hundreds digit must be the smallest among 3, 2, and 4, which is the 3. So it should be, I mean, the smallest among the two, three, uh, the 3, 2, 4 is 2, second is 3, and the units digit must be 4. So 234 is the smallest three digit number that can be formed from the numbers 3, 2, and 4. Next. Uh, what is the smallest? And number 29. Jenny has two two dollar coins, two five dollar coins, and one ten dollar coin. What is the maximum value of the souvenir that she can buy? The maximum value of souvenir is the total amount of these coins. So we have two dollars times two, so four dollars plus two times five, ten, fourteen plus one times ten is ten. 14 plus 10, 24. So the maximum amount of the souvenir that Jenny can buy is $24. 24 is the answer. Last problem, number 30. Arranging the following numbers in this in ascending order. Ascending order means from the smallest to largest number. Find the value of the second largest. What is the largest? 56. Second largest, 45. So the second largest number is 45. The answer is 45. Okay, thank you for watching. Please watch out for coming tutorials more problems more practice tests for timo to prepare your child or yourself for the timo exam 2019 bye bye